Scarlett Johansson through the years. I've always wanted to be an actress. I mean, ever since I could, ever since I can remember. I mean, I remember when I was three telling my mom that I had a fire in my brain to act, and you know, she must have thought I was crazy or something. From portraying Sarah Hughes in The Late Night with Conan O'Brien when she was only 10 years old to becoming a Hollywood icon, Scarlett Johansson never disappoints at proving she can embrace any kind of role. People used to tell me that you were too selfish to be a great artist, and I used to defend you. Being one of the most well-known and versatile actresses around the world, let's recap her evolution. Her first appearances included her debut in North, Manny and Lowe, Home Alone 3, and The Horse Whisperer. I'd love to be your sidekick. Sidekick. P-S-Y-D-E, kick. Sidekick. That's right, Sarah. <laughs>You know, I work pretty hard at school. The actress earned Golden Globe nominations for Lost in Translation and Girl with a Pearl Earring. She also starred in five different movies this year. She earned her third Golden Globe nod for A Love Song for Bobby Long. Yes, yeah, so I have a very good job. This year, she also worked with Woody Allen for the first time. I always love it. She started dating actor Ryan Reynolds in 2007 and they got married in 2008. The couple split in December. Scarlett played Black Widow in the Marvel films. Yes, badass. We got a lot of that in this, in this, uh, in this show. The Avengers was released and she started dating Romaine Doriac. Johansson welcomed her daughter Rose and married Doriac in October. After breaking up with Doriak, Scarlett met Colin Jost at Saturday Night Live and they made their first official red carpet appearance at the Avengers Infinity War premiere. The comedian proposed to her in 2019. The couple got married and Scarlett was nominated for her roles in Marriage Story and Jojo Rabbit at the 2020 Oscars. The script was so fantastic. Um, it was really just, it, it's unusual to read a script and have such a unique perspective and such a just a really different story. I was really struck by that. The actress looked stunning walking the red carpet during the premiere of Asteroid City. It's very overwhelming. I'm trying to take it all in. 